That is basically the Protestant position, is that God could have used any girl. Mary said yes. Maybe some said no first, but Mary said yes and agreed to do that. But all she is is gave birth to God's Son, and that doesn't make her any different than us. The Bible says all have sinned, and that means Mary too. For example, I'll tell you how I used to do this. I'm going to start a verse, you guys finish it. My soul my spirit rejoices in god my savior my soul mag my soul magnifies the lord and my spirit rejoices in god my oh, savior so for he is oh did you just say mary needs a savior ah. mary said she needs a savior who needs a savior but a sinner mm. even mary under the inspiration of the holy spirit says she needs a savior so you catholics are wrong because even mary says she needs a savior she's a sinner so you guys are wrong so why don't you leave the catholic church and all your other man-made bad doctrines and become a real bible christian Man, come on good. guys let's get with the, with the, uh, <laughs> the, the program here now see this is this is what Protestants do things like that, and it's very clever. Mary does need a savior, by the mm -hmm. way. She was a daughter of Eve, just like the rest of us are from Adam and Eve, and she was subject to sin, just like we are. But by a unique act of God, based on the merits of his son, her son, she was preserved. How does this work? Well, in my movie, Mary, Mother of God, I have a mud puddle. Did you guys, any of you see my movie on Mary? Yep. I, I have a mud puddle. And I go to the mud Great puddle, scene. and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the uh, picture of it for you. <laughs> and in in this movie, I fall in a mud puddle. We could put it this up is too. Me. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it on the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good teacher, man. <laughs> Visual. That's what I looked like before. That's what I look like as soon as I hit the mud. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Now. What I did that for was I said, Mary needs a savior, but there are two ways to be saved from a puddle of mud. And I'm walking and there's a big log that we put in front of this big puddle we made. I trip and I fall head first into the mud puddle, as you saw in the picture. A hand reaches down, pulls me up, and with mud dripping out of off my face, I say, the first way to be saved from a puddle of mud is to be pulled out and cleaned up. Then it rewinds like a video and I'm coming at the mud puddle again and I trip again and a hand reaches out and stops me and pushes me back and I say the second way to be saved from a puddle of mud is to be prevented from falling in in the first place. There are two ways to be saved from sin, to be pulled out and cleaned up through baptism like us guys did or by being prevented from the first place which is what happened to Mary, a unique experience based on the merits of her son not hers mary needed a savior and she was saved from sin but in a different way so that's the immaculate conception now protestants believe that all have sinned and